Hey guys, how are you doing? It's Harry here again. So a little while ago, I bought this massive job lot of Yu-Gi-Oh cards from a charity shop. I paid one pound for a bundle. So I think there was like something like 46 bundles here and I paid them 49 pound in total. I had a quick look through. I don't know a massive amount about Yu-Gi-Oh cards, truth be told. But I just took a gamble and I thought, worst case, the money goes to charity, so it's all good, really. I thought, at worst, I could probably bundle these up because I paid a pound each. I could probably get two pound each, maybe, if I'm hoping. But yeah, be interesting to see what I can get for these. <coughs> Sorry. But yeah, I've gone through them anyway. I won't go through all of these, but I thought I'd just show you here what I've got. I'm probably going to butcher the names of half of these cards here. But yeah, I thought we'd have a quick little look through these. If you want to hop in the comments, tell me, you know, if I've got anything rare, that'd be great. But um, I don't think I do. Pricing wise, I don't think there's anything super rare in these. But there might, I think there's one or two that's worth like, you know, two, three pound per card. Something like that. But yeah. And I'm not when I go through these, I'm not going to go through each individual set. There are different sets in here, but I'll just hold the cards up slightly. And if you're interested in the set, you can just pause the video and have a look. But yeah, I'm not going to go through every individual card. But yeah, I'll run through these quickly anyway. I'll butcher the names of half of these probably, but I'll just try and run through them a bit quick. So we've got Baby Dragon here. I remember that one from the old TV show. These were, I think, the first few ones are the ones I remember from the TV show. So we've got Curse of Dragon here. These are in not so great condition. Some are in a better condition than others, and some are pretty good condition, to be honest. Then we've got, what's that, Gazelle, King of Mythical Beasts. Got, I think, three of those cards in this sleeve there. Then we've got, what's that, Swift Gaia, the Fierce Knight. We've got two of those. And then we've got Gaia, the Fierce Knight. And then we've got a foreign version there. We've got a couple of foreign version cards in this, in these mixed up. Uh, then we've got some spell and trap cards here. We've got a rank up there, Chaos Force. It's hollow. Mirror Force, I remember, it was a good card to have. It's a hollow one as well there. We've got Change of Heart here. Good card to have. I think if you get it from a certain set, it could be worth quite a considerable. Yeah. Quite a considerable, oh, if I can get my words out, uh, considerably more, can be worth considerably more. There we go. <laughs> got change of heart there. We've got card destruction here. We've got monster reincarnation. I remember monster reborn, and I think monster reborn cards, the older ones, can be worth a little bit. I'm not too sure about these ones here. We've got two there though. We've got magic jammer. We've got a negate attack. Uh, Magic Cylinder in pretty rough condition there. Then we've got a few of these Premature Burials. I know I think one from a certain set can be worth quite a bit. We've got a few of those there. We've got Brain Control there. Again, from a certain set can be worth a bit. Pot of Greed's a pretty good card and from most sets is worth a little bit, if I'm correct. But yeah, this one being a foreign card in... Not very good condition, not really worth a massive amount. Enemy controller, again, from certain sets can be worth a bit. I think we've got a few in that sleeve as well. Uh, Harpy cards then, we've got a few of these. We've got Harpy Girl, Harpy Lady 2, Harpy's Brother, and Harpy Lady Sisters. I think we've got two in there, yeah. Again, I think with these, I think, was it Harpy's Pet Dragon was a good one to have. Sadly, we haven't got that here. Oh, it's when I'm going to start to butcher the names. <laughs> Emperor of Thunder Hammon there. We've got Blackwing. Oh, I can't see because it's reflecting on the camera. Nufung the Starlight there. Hollow card anyway. <laughs> Uh, Master Hip Hyperion, Master Hyperion there, hollow again. Doom Caliber Knight there. We've got Swordsman of Revealing Light. I remember the spell cards worth a bit, Swords of Revealing Light. But yeah, 
I'm not too sure about this one here. Maybe a bit more research. Uh, Rosaria, the stately fallen angel. There. A thousand dragon there. Then we've got a Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Quite a cool looking card there. I know the Blue Eyes White Dragons are worth quite a bit and the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragons, stuff like that. This one here though, I don't think it's worth a massive amount. I think I found it online for like £152 sort of thing. But yeah, we've got that one there. Cyber Twin Dragon. I think there's one version that could be worth a bit from a certain set, but sadly it's not this one. Uh, Debris Dragon there. Paladin of White Dragon, I think, from the earlier sets, can be worth a bit. I think this one could be worth a little bit, but it's in pretty bad condition. We've got bends in it, as you can see there. Red Dragon Archfield there. Or Archfind, even. That one there. And then, what's that? Vandaligon, the Dark Dragon Lord. Cool hollow there. A few of these. Uh, Wings Dragons. Not much there. On to Magicians. Sadly, no Dark Magicians, Dark Magician Girls, anything like that. The ones that are worth a little bit. But what we've got here, Time Gazer Magician. Got a couple in there. And Stargazer Magician, a couple in there. Put them down there. Uh, Element Magician. Uh, Sky Magician. <laughs> I should be having my glasses on for this, really. Uh, Magician's Robe. Breaker, the Magical Warrior. And Arc Knight Magician. And those are the Magician cards there. Then we've got, I think, some Elemental Hero ones here. What did we go up to? About there, uh, there I think. So we've got Thunder Giant there. Clayman. Necroid Shaman. Hero Neos. Bubble Man. Spark Man. And Wild Heart. So when like selling these, I think I'll probably sell these as a bundle. Probably do better, I think. Something like that, I reckon. Maybe £4 for the bundle, something like that on these cards. I don't think there's anything super rare in here. Especially with this one being so bent up. Got those there. Scape Ghosts. I remember Scape Goats being a good one to have. Sadly, not got that. Uh, Mystical Elf. Skull Knight, these are just ones now I remember from the TV show again. Uh, Spy oh, Launcher Spider and Flame Swordsman. So, yeah, those are the ones I've pulled out. I don't think there's anything else super rare in these, to be honest. There's a few other dragons, I don't think there's any other magicians. But, yeah, I've been through them. I've had a, I had a quick look online, I went through like the top 100 most valuable cards to look out for, something like that. But yeah, I think the best way to sell these is going to be in bundles. I don't think anything's really worth selling individually. Even these ones I put in the sleeve, they'll probably, I think I'll probably bundle them up with some of the other sleeved ones and hopefully get a bit of money through it that way. But yeah, nice bundle here. The money went to charity, so it was a bit of fun going through them. I remembered, brought back some memories of my childhood watching the TV show, going to town, buying, or going to the corner shop even back then and buying a booster pack stuff like that but yeah nice bundle there so those are the ones i picked out and then obviously i've got all of these here massive job lots of them so it'd be interesting to see how much these actually go for i could probably it'd probably be best if i went through put them all in their right sets stuff like that but truth be told i, I can't be asked to do that i'm just going to probably bundle them up might try and do you know a few bundles online and see how will they go i mean that was four quid if i can get you know five to ten it's profit but yeah be interesting to see i'm hoping to double money but yeah we'll see how long my patience holds out and see what kind of interest i get on these but yeah those are 
Yu-Gi-Oh cards job lot. Uh, nice job lot, again, fun to go through. But anyway, thanks for watching this video, guys. If you want to leave a comment, let me know what you think i got here. Do you think I've just got a load of rubbish? Do you think I'll lose money? <sighs> just let me know. I don't think I'm going to lose money. I think, worst case, I'll break even, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to double my money on these at least. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, don't forget to leave a like on this video and don't forget to subscribe. I do get trading cards every now and then. I go to a lot of car boots and stuff like that. Find all different bits and pieces. Sometimes Yu-Gi-Oh cards, Pokemon, Magic the Gathering. Very rare that I do, but yeah, every now and then I do. But I find plenty of other cool stuff. Anyway, thanks, for watching. thanks again for watching and hopefully I'll see you in one of my future videos. Bye for now.